Okay, now I'm gonna start like teaching you and showing you how the brush works, which you can use it however however you want. Now you could just press B on your keyboard and then boom, you get the brush. Now sometimes when you get the brush, <clears throat> you'll either have this option right here, like this little circle thing that I have right here, like saying that you cannot. As you can see, everything's locked up, which is all good. I don't want to touch the sketch because as the sketch is just my guidelines. And my top line work is gonna be the, the the finished product or the finished piece, whatever you want to call it. And you'll see this little circle. And when you see this, basically you don't have a a brush selected. And what you want to do is just go right here to your 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 brush presets. And just go right here on on this little menu right here with the arrow right here. Just click it. Don't click it, hold, just click it, just click it, and then you just open this. And then you could choose whatever brush you want, right? Here. You could just select any one. I always use the 6D, the, the Wacom 6, 6D brushes. <clears throat> I click on it, and then the brush I always use is this one right here. I always use this one. I try other ones, and they're pretty good, but I'm more comfortable using this one. So you could try any, any one of these if you have a Wacom tablet. If you have a if you have a mouse, I don't really I don't really recommend you doing this with a mouse unless you're really good at it. Like if you know how to draw on mouse, well you know go for it. But me, I have a Wacom tablet and I'm comfortable doing it with the Wacom tablet rather than a mouse using a brush. Now if you want to get rid of this um this box right here, all you gotta do is just click the little X. And that's it. And then, and then you want to hide this? Just click the little arrows right here, and then you're gonna go back to hide. And if you want them again, just click again. See, so click again the the brush presets. You want to hide it? Hide it back again in those arrows. Now, the brush is pretty fun right here. <clears throat> and like I explained earlier ago, if you have a shaky hand, or for some reason like your hand just shakes, because some people are natural like that, like their hands shake when when they're drawing. Like for some reason, like their hands like kind of shake. But if you have like a loose hand or like like if you sketch loosely if you and if you and if your outlines are really loose they're gonna be pretty simple for for you because i'm one of them because i taught myself how, how not to because i back then when i when i started drawing well when i was a kid i used to like when i would start drawing like my hand will kind of shake to make a perfect circle which which it never came out a perfect circle nobody can do a perfect circle but I, I always try to do like curves or or use and for some reason they'll, they'll come out kind of like you know like sloppy-ish or shaky but anyways if you could do if, if you if your hand is not shaky at all and then you know how to you know you're good at wrist movement the brush is perfect for you you can still use a pen tool nothing wrong with that now to use the pen tool I have it selected now there's gonna be pretty important right here this option right here I always like using it here on the like I said on the on the pressure on the pressure option right here from thin to thick because this is gonna allow me to to add to control my pressure from light to get from light pressure to medium pressure to hard pressure to the heart the, the more pressure you put which is the hardest the thicker the lines gonna look and I'm gonna give you an example watch I'm gonna start with a point five I have this select so I don't have to worry about it now I'm just like this for some reason sometimes that, that annoys me I don't know why but the layer options but I'm gonna start off with light pressure so on my Wacom tablet I'm just gonna like barely add pressure and then little by little I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add more pressure more pressure and after that I'm gonna go back to how I started from medium and then you'll see what I mean watch I'm at little pressure lightly pressure hard pressure hard 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 medium pressure medium 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 light 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 super light there you go you see and let's say if, and let's say if I had it on on basic uniform whatever on on basic it's just gonna look like that Wait, what the hell? Oh yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. Go back to my brush. 
No, this is regular. See, this is regular. And then I'm gonna go back to to pen pressure. You see? See the difference? Cause you, when you use this, you can still add pressure, but it's still not gonna come out as good as the pen pressure one. You see? The, like these little, like these little thin lines won't come out. So I always, like I said, I recommend using the the pen pressure option, which is from thin to thick. And every time I do my 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 line work, I always use a either a one point or, or a point seven a point seventy five. And for and I'm gonna start right now. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna, I'm gonna start using. It. All right, on my layer, select it, and make sure. Like I said, sketch and background are always locked. You don't want to mess with that. And that's it. Yeah, you're pretty much good. And then, you just want to zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in. And then I'm, I'm going to do this eye right here. I'm just going to outline it. Okay. You could either do it like that Watch. You start with a 7.5. I'm gonna start outlining it. You see? Let me take out the sketch. But you get the point. See, thin, thin, then medium pressure, medium, medium, and then right here's gonna start getting like thicker, thicker. But I would, what, what I would do right here, I would use the pen tool. I mean, yeah, the pen tool, which I'm just going to delete this line right here. Delete it. And then I always like mixing my stuff. I always use like any anything that I, I think I cannot do with the pet with the brush tool. I'll do it with the pen tool like the eye. I could do it with the brush tool, but I want to fill it in black since his, high, since his eyes are, are all black. So I might as well just fill it in black. So what I'm going to do is just click here. Click here and yeah, click here in the bottom, and then make sure that little circle appears next to the pen. Because if you have this or this or the plus, all you're doing is just adding another anchor point. But you just want to connect this since I'm already, I already want to connect this, so I gotta look for that little circle that, that pops next to the, the pen, and then just click it, and then there you go, it's already connected. So whenever you have this little minus right here, what it that what that does is it's just gonna subtract that that anchor. So so if I click, you won't be able to see this line. Cause it's gonna subtract. But I don't wanna do that. Now I'm gonna go back to my com converter tool and just start modifying it. See? Like that. Like that. I'm gonna do it like, like right here. And then you see? And there we go. I'm gonna click off. And there you go. That's the eye. I could make them look meaner, which I'm, I'm gonna do it right now. Make sure I'm gonna click this. My. My selection tool. I'm gonna make him look meaner. Like it's actually like more. Like he's actually looking like more meaner than he is right now. So the 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 more you curve the eyebrow, the meaner he looks. But not too much like this, you know. Don't over exaggerate. Just 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 choose a like a, a specific curve. Like I'm good with this curve right here. He pretty, he pretty much looks more, more meaner like that. Now instead of by me filling this all black by coloring it, I could just switch it. Boom! There you go. See? Click off. Now I'm gonna go back to the pen tool again and do the exact same thing what I just did right here um, on my on, on the first part. Click right here. Here. Down here, right here. 
and then if it's bothering you just like I said switch to your line remember these, these little arrows right here to your line work so not to line work but like to show line just a stroke and then from here you could just start tweaking it yourself just start modifying it Get the selection tool. And I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna get the converter tool. I'm uh, I need to use this one right here. So I can make it look meaner. There you go. You just but whenever these lines are are bother not bothering, but like when you get this kind of line like this, like oh you know what I messed up my. You know my my perfect curve right here. What could I do to put it back? So what you want to do is just click and hold, and then send it back to this anchor point. And then you're gonna see this like big old dot, big old big old white dot. That means it's gonna go back to where it was. See, you don't see it right here. You see? Now I'm gonna bring the handle back to to the to the anchor point, and then boom, it's gonna say path. There you go. You have it. You have it how you had it. I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. Cause if like, cause if you use the 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 converter tool, and if you click once, it was gonna happen. Watch. See, so it's gonna like cancel your your curve. I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna do it right here so you can see what I mean. I'm gonna press it once. See what that does? It it, it resets your it resets what you modified. So I'm I'm gonna do on that. Just hit Control Z if that happens. But like I say, whenever you wanna. Whenever you want to modify more what you modified, always, like I said, always, uh, let me I'll select this, right? Always select your selection tool and then just click on the, on the anchor point. And then there you go. You're going to see these little, the, your little handles. All right. So whenever you want to modify it, you want to modify more what you modify, always click the selection tool. Never click the converter tool because you're just going to, you know, Mess it up, you know, reset it, and then you have to click undo and then do it again. Not do it again, but like just, you know, just give you, it's just giving you a little hard time. And the point is to make it quick and easy, right? And like I said, I'll make this a little meaner. Put down the eyeball right here. Man, come on. There we go. Something like that, at least like that. Now that I'm already, you know, satisfied of, of what I just did, like, if you're satisfied, whatever you have right now, like, you're pretty much good, like, all right, I'm good, it's good how it is, I like it, I like it like that, you know, there's nothing else gonna change my mind, I'm, I'm done, like, doing this, I'm done modifying it, so I wanna make a fitting like what I did right now, so, like, like I said, just switch it, boom, there you go, 